Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna to show you how you can narrate your PowerPoint presentation. By narrating, you could provide a voiceover on all of your slides, and I'll even show you how you can include your video as part of your narration. Once you're done, you could save your PowerPoint, you could share it with others, or you could even export it as a video. Let's say you wanna upload it to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, wherever you wanna share it, you'll be able to do that. Now this functionality comes built in with the latest version of PowerPoint. If you have an older version, or if you just wanna see an alternative, I'm gonna show you another way you can do this as well. All right, well, let's jump on the PC and get started. Here I am on my desktop and I have the latest version of PowerPoint that comes with Microsoft 365. First, I wanna show you how you can include a narration and your video using functionality that's available within PowerPoint. And to do that, I wanna use the Kevin Cookie Company as an example. Within PowerPoint, up on the top bar, you have all of these different tabs. Narration sits under Slideshow, so let's click on Slideshow. Within Slideshow, a number of different options on the ribbon. The one we care about for a narration is the option that says Record Slideshow. If you click on this, you'll see a drop down, and you have two different options that you can choose from. You can record from the current slide or you could record from the beginning. For my narration, I wanna record from the very beginning, but the choice is yours which one you wanna do. Let's record from the beginning and see how this works. When I click on record from beginning, this opens up the record dialog. Let's take a moment to walk through what exactly you can do here. And let's start in the top left-hand corner. In the top left-hand corner, this is how we can kick off the recording once we're ready to go, but we should look at a few things before we start the recording. You could also stop your recording and then you could play it again to see how it sounds. If you don't think you sound good, you could always go back and do it again. That's the magic of video editing. I use it all the time on this channel when I screw up my my speech, I just record again. In the middle section, this is where you can see all of your notes in PowerPoint. You could adjust the font size. So especially if you're narrating a presentation or important deliverable, you can make sure you stay on message by referring to your notes. And the great thing is the notes appear in the top center, which is also the closest point to your webcam. So as you're reading your notes, it looks like you're looking at the camera. People won't know you're reading notes. Now, as we go over on the right hand side, you could also clear the recordings. So let's say that you messed up or maybe you wanna record again, you could wipe it all out and then try again. Over on the right hand side, you have a few different settings that you could choose from. If you have multiple microphones hooked up to your computer, you could choose which mic you prefer or which one sounds the best. My Rode NT-USB is my best sounding microphone, so I'm gonna go with that. If you have multiple cameras, let's say you have a laptop with multiple cameras, you could also choose the camera that you wanna use. I'm just using the default webcam that comes with my computer. So those are all of the different settings. Within the center here, I see the content that I'm going to be recording as part of the Presentation. I see my slide here and a few other things. I can go forward, I could go back through my slide presentation. So when I'm ready to jump to the next slide, I could simply navigate forward or back. One of the nice things about doing a narration is not only can I speak on the slide, but I can also show my video. So if we look here in the bottom right hand corner, you could see this wonderful face right here. Uh, and I'm gonna go through and narrate a presentation. Now down here, there are a few other controls under my video. I could turn the microphone on or off. You could turn video on and off. And then you could also turn the preview on or off. So if you don't want your video preview sitting on top of the content, you can hide that so it doesn't distract you while you're recording. Now, although my video appears in the bottom right hand corner here, once I'm done with the narration, I could position this wherever I want on each individual slide. Now one concern might be, well, hey, what if the video video sits on top of important content. Well, we can move it around or maybe on a slide you don't wanna show the video, maybe you wanna make it smaller, bigger, whatever you wanna do. We have that freedom and flexibility once we finish our recording. Now down below, this is where we have a bunch of annotation tools that we can use while we go through the presentation. For instance, I could use a pen, I could use a highlighter, and then I could even choose the color. So let's say I wanna circle something, draw an arrow. I have all of that flexibility as I'm going through it. Now you might be thinking, what about my other tools that I use in presentations, say the laser pointer or some of these other tools. If I right click on the slide, this opens up a, a secondary or context menu. And here I have all the same controls 
controls like switching the screen to black, to white. I could also adjust my pointer. So I still have all of these options, even if I'm just recording a narration and my video. Okay, so that's how you use the recording. Why don't we go ahead and actually try recording something to see how this works. So I'm gonna pull together my presentation for all of my franchisees to try to explain the situation. So hopefully they don't get too mad and we get them on the right path. So I'm gonna go to the top left-hand corner. Let's click on record. Three, two, one, we get a nice little countdown. We are live. Hi, franchisees. This is Kevin, the CEO of the Kevin Cookie Company. I really appreciate all of you joining today. Now, I've heard from many of you that sales haven't been materializing as much as our different sales content promise they would. And I understand the frustration. The last thing you want is to dump your life savings into a cookie company only to find out you're not selling as many cookies as you expected. But I think I know the solution. But for now, my recording looks good. So we're gonna click on stop. So let's close this now. Everything looks good. And at this point, I could click on close. Now, now that we're looking at our PowerPoint presentation, you'll notice a few things. Here's my video appearing in the bottom right-hand corner. I can position this wherever I want, just like I said earlier. So let's say I wanna have a nice introduction. Maybe I make my video nice and big and I could position that right here on the slide. And on the subsequent slides, I could have it appear in a different size. So here you see I recorded a narration on three different slides and you see my video showing up. The audio and the video will appear together. So when you click on play, you'll see both the video what you need to do. and you'll hear the audio. So now what I can do, I'm gonna click on the slideshow. Hi franchisees, this is Kevin, the CEO of the Kevin Cookie Company. Now we have all the video clips and all the audio ready to go. They're set up so they automatically start playing. If I click on the video, we can go up to playback and here we'll see the setting where it says start automatically. If for whatever reason you wanna share out this presentation, but you don't wanna have it start automatically, you could also have it to just start when clicked on or to start in the sequence, whatever you prefer. Once you're done recording your narrations on the slide, at this point, you could save the PowerPoint presentation and share this with others. The video, the narration, it's all embedded in the PowerPoint presentation, so it is ready to go. But let's say that maybe you wanna upload this to YouTube, or maybe you just wanna send a video file instead of a PowerPoint presentation. Well, you can do that just as well. If we go up to the top left-hand corner, let's click on File, and if we go down in the File menu, there's the option to export. Click on export and then here we could choose how we want to export this. The second option in this menu is create a video and here we see a few different options related to creating a video. Right up here I could click to choose the quality so I could go with a 4k video if I'd like to do that. Let's go with 4k. I could also use the recorded timings and narrations. Well, I put all this time into narrating, so I wanna use the recording timings and narrations, so it'll stay on the slide as long as it needs to or as long as the narration goes on for. Now for the seconds spent on each slide, because I'm using the recorded timings and narrations, this doesn't matter. And next, I could click on create video. So let's create the video and see how this looks. Once I click on create video, this opens up a save as prompt in Windows and I have to choose where I wanna save this video file. I'm gonna put this on my desktop. Here you can see for the save as type, you could save it as an MP4 or you could save it as a Windows Media video. I'm gonna save it as an MP4. That's probably the most common video file type. Once I'm satisfied with all of this, simply click on save. Now, once it's saving, you'll see a progress bar down here. I chose 4K video, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to save. So let's just hang out and see what this looks like. The video has finished processing and I now have an MP4 on my desktop. Let's click into this to see how things turned out. Hi franchisees, this is Kevin, the CEO of the Kevin Cookie Company. The video turned out exactly like I wanted it to, so I can now take this MP4, I could put it up on YouTube, I could put it in my OneDrive, and I could share a link out with all of my franchisees, and hopefully this helps quell some of the anger. We'll see what happens. Now, if you don't have this functionality in PowerPoint, or you just wanna see an alternative way for doing it, we're gonna jump into how you can use OBS to record your presentation in PowerPoint. 
Open up your web browser and head to the website obsproject.com. I've also included a link in the description so you could just click on that to navigate to this website. OBS is a fantastic screen recorder. You could also use it for streaming. This is what I personally use to record all of the video on my channel. The great thing is it works regardless of what platform you have. We're going to use OBS to record our presentation in PowerPoint and we'll be able to create the exact same or similar output to what we could get through the mechanism that's built into PowerPoint. So go ahead and download the version for the operating system that you have. Once you finish installing OBS, go ahead and launch OBS and you'll land on a screen that looks like this. If you've never used OBS before and you just wanna learn how to get started, I've included a link to an introductory video in the description. You can start there just to learn the basics of OBS. To record PowerPoint, the first thing that we need to do is to add a scene here in the bottom left hand corner. Let's click on the plus button and I'm gonna simply call this PowerPoint. Then I'm going to click on OK. Next, we need to add a source. Let's click on the plus button. And for this, I just wanna capture my entire display. I'm gonna go up to display capture. Another option you could do is you could also capture a window and you could just capture the PowerPoint window. But let's go ahead and go to display capture. I'm gonna leave it with the default name and then click on OK. Next, this brings up a prompt. I'm gonna click on OK. You see that my video doesn't quite match the dimensions of the screen. I'm gonna right click on this source and click on the option that says resize output and then click on continue. You can see now that my desktop is using up this full screen and I am now just about ready to start recording, but I also want to include my video. To include my video, I'm gonna click on the plus icon down here and I'm gonna go up to video capture device. A video capture device is another way of referring to a webcam. This brings up a prompt where I could type in the name for it. I'm just gonna stick with the default and click on okay. Next, this brings up a dialog where I can see my webcam and I can select which camera I wanna use. I'm just gonna use the basic camera that comes with my computer and then I'm gonna click on OK. So here now you see my desktop and you also see my video. Now I could position this video wherever I want. Similar to PowerPoint, I'm just gonna place it in the bottom right hand corner and now I can click on start recording. So the recording has now started, but the next thing I wanna do is jump over into PowerPoint. Now I'm back in PowerPoint and my screen is currently recording. Next, I wanna throw PowerPoint into presentation mode. To do that on the top bar, I could click on slideshow and I could start from the beginning or from the current slide, whichever one I want. When I click on from beginning, this now starts my slideshow and I could start speaking. Hi franchisees, good to meet all of you. And I could go through a similar speech to what I did before. Here I could jump to the next slide and say, yeah, I know sales haven't been materializing, but let me tell you how you could fix that. You just need to use the right recipe. And so this is now all being recorded. My video is part of the recording and let's let exit out now and see how this turned out. Next, I need to jump back into OBS and I'm gonna click on stop recording. Now that my recording's done, I can go up to the file menu, click on show recordings, and here I see that this is the recording that I just finished. Let's see how this turned out. Hi franchisees, good to meet all of you, and I could go through a similar speech to what I did before. So here you see that it turns out the exact same way as it does as if I did it in PowerPoint. And when you're in full screen presentation mode within PowerPoint, you have access to things like the pen, you have access to all of your different annotation tools. So through OBS, you can achieve the same thing as what the functionality built into PowerPoint does. Of course, doing it directly in PowerPoint's easier and you could share the presentation with others, but if you just want to share out a video file, OBS together with PowerPoint does a pretty good job. All right, well that was a quick look at how you can use PowerPoint and OBS to record narrations and video in Microsoft PowerPoint. So what do you think? Do you think my franchisees will figure out the correct recipe and they'll no longer be angry and hostile towards me? I don't know, let's see what happens. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a note down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.